so welcome back everyone uh, it's your channel technology in future and this time we have this video which is an installation video so what are we exactly going to install well we will install fusion 360 the free version which is actually having some limitations over the functionalities but still it's free so that's kind of a big positive right the first thing let's start it AutoCAD free version that's what you have to search on your web browser now head on to this link the official Autodesk website click on it and you will see this page now on this page there are a number of softwares which you can try for free some are actually available for free personal use while others are available for either educational purpose or a 30 day free trial right so we'll just select Fusion 360 and we'll see these three options now in these three options the free trial means a 30 day free trial right after that you'll have to pay if you want to use the software the educational use it basically requires id verification of your college or school email right by sheer id which takes time but if you have an email id given by your school or college then it's uh, way too easy and it's the best option to go with right and uh, another thing you have to verify it every year until you are eligible so that's another fact about this type of license the next one which is a recent addition to this list is the personal use so this is what we'll use this time and wait yeah get fusion 360 for personal use now it's to ask us for our email id and we'll log in All right, so when you're logged in, it's going to ask us about the basic information about us, like our first name, our last name, our country, state, let's say, or let's say Delhi, then, okay, one, two, four, work phone, very good, okay, nice, now we'll hit next, these are basic details, you have to just mention your email ID correctly, that's what matters. Right, just because the license can be sent to the email ID or maybe if you shift to actually purchase the software then it's really important that all your uh, like the files and all your cloud data it actually gets stored and you can actually like back it up now once the exe file is downloaded just click on it this will start the installation and yes this process will take some time like a lot of time in my case because the system like it's not that good of a system but yes again if you are having a better system it's it's going to take a lot less time so yeah be back when it's about to reach 100 till then happy installing so the software is like it has completed it is on 100 percent and now what will happen is it will actually like open fusion 360 and like it will ask you for your sign in information right now if like we have already uh, signed in when we download it so it is just going to ask us that yes do you want to sign in with the same account and if yes then that's it that's what you actually have to do right so just wait until the software asks us and by the way uh, by the time it is installing uh, let me tell you one of the very important feature of fusion 360 and it is that it is a cloud based uh, software so if you are running it the internet on then it will keep on saving the uh, data or your actual files on which you were working uh, onto the cloud right which will have a storage uh, linked to your email account so this is kind of cool because if uh, the software crashes or if somehow you forget to save the data or the file then you can actually uh, back up the data from the cloud so yeah, kind of a cool feature but it takes a lot of internet so i guess we'll have to use it wisely so the software is like it has completed it is on 100 percent and now what will happen is it will actually like open fusion 360 and like it will ask you for your sign in information right now if like we have already uh, signed in when we so another window yes now it's asking us to sign in we'll just wait for it to load so another right just uh 
let the software do its thing and just patiently wait that's uh, what we can do now once we click sign in it will take us to the account there you go go to the product and yes now if this does not open directly then there will be a pop-up on the browser which will ask you that whether you want to open the software or not just click on open and this screen will pop up now as you can see it's showing not responding so yeah it's completely normal it is uh, kind of a heavy software and can take a lot of uh, cpu and memory so yeah quite normal right just uh, let the software do its thing and just patiently wait that's uh, what we can do now once we click sign in it will take okay the plane is quite weird yeah it is uh, rearranging itself nice let's go see again not responding completely fine just don't click anywhere don't try to close it right it will do this couple of time but then just uh, let it do it right and once it is like completely loaded it has loaded completely then uh, i don't think there will be any lag right in my case the lag might also be due to the obs which is running side by side right even this puts a lot of uh, load on the cpu so i guess yes we are in yes so yeah it already told me that the graphics driver of hardware may be limiting the performance i don't have a graphics driver so yeah kind of a disability but i'm fine with it okay so once the software has opened completely and you are good to go then you can obviously start modeling whatever you wanted to do right you can open the file modify things make new things check out the features and all that stuff but i would recommend you to this uh, last step which is really important and this step is well it's not closing this uh, tab the step is this just click on the shortcut which the system just created go to properties and copy this target location right close this window open the file explorer again click on the quick access bar paste the target and now you have to delete it until it says local right and then click enter now in local you will uh, see autodesk folder this folder is about 4.5 gbs right which actually puts a lot of uh, load on the c drive since it's mounted on the c drive itself right and if you see i had 150 gb3 and since the folder is of 4 gb so it should have been around 146 but 3 gb it's consuming it itself right so what we will do to solve this problem is we'll just click on the folder control x or right click cut right this pc and select a drive where there is a lot of space and you want to mount this uh, software there so i'll do it with g drive control v to paste it now we'll wait until it's completed okay so once the software has opened completely and you are good to go then you can obviously start modeling whatever you wanted to do right you can open the file modify things make new things check out the features and all that stuff but i would recommend you to this uh, last step which is really important and this step is well it's not closing this uh, tab so now as you can see that we have the auto folder right here and we have moved it already in the g drive right so we'll go ahead we'll uh, open it and before that we'll have to delete this shortcut because it won't really work now right since we moved it from c drive so we'll open the folder go to web deploy and go to production click on this version right and this is not the correct version by the way click on this and now in this whole list yeah we'll find fusion 360 click on create shortcut click and select the shortcut Control x to cut it and paste it on the desktop right press enter to open it and let's wait until the software opens so now as you can see that we have the auto folder right here and we have moved it already in the g drive right so we'll go ahead we'll uh, open it and before that we'll have to delete this shortcut again asking us to sign in just click on the sign in option 
it's kind of a verification thing which will happen every time so yeah that is kind of frustrating just click on go to product and this yeah so this opens up the software and that's no rocket science there you go so yes there you go finally it has opened up and yes so this is the end of this video guys if you liked it and if you actually like uh, happen to learn something new from this video just give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing please right and yeah that's it if you have doubts regarding this installation or regarding any of the video on this channel then please do post it in the comments i will answer it as quickly as possible and plus if you want to check out other installation videos then you can just check them out haha <laughs> like literally so yeah sign off guys uh, take care stay safe tata bye bye see you in the next video bye bye